It's Friday morning, which means the weekend is here. And if you're looking for some things to do, we've got you covered. Joining us now is Rosalind Colgan. She's the Things to Do editor at Time Out New York. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Happy Friday. Yeah, to you as well. We're expecting some rain this weekend, so I know you have some great indoor activities. The first is a new pop-up gallery featuring work by Ukrainian artists, and the proceeds will support humanitarian aid. Yes, exactly. So all indoor events today, uh, this pop-up gallery is in the Ukrainian village, naturally. And some of the artists who are featured in this exhibit are actually currently displaced by the war. One of them's even fighting in the war right now. Their work's super powerful. And it's led by the Sunflower Network, which is this new nonprofit founded by a New York native. And they've delivered everything from food and clothing, medication, ambulances to help Ukraine. And all of the proceeds from the art sales are going to go to those relief efforts. So you can see that this weekend, and it's going to be here through December 7th in the Ukrainian village. And at the Sonia Gallery, tell me more about that. Yeah, so so that is that Ukrainian um, Ukrainian art exhibit, and that'll be on display this weekend through December second. And I know you the next one is uh, an exhibit with really unique pieces. Tell me more yes, about that one. A different kind of art exhibit. This one's called Canstruction. It's a great event with Thanksgiving approaching. It's going to be at Brookfield Place in Lower Manhattan, also open all weekend. And for this one, they have design pros. This is everyone from architects, engineers, and contractors building these giant sculptures made entirely out of unopened cans of food. They are wow. very creative, and you can vote for your favorite. And then after that, they're deconstructed and donated to New Yorkers in need through City Harvest. So it's a great event if you can bring along some cans of food to help help out City Harvest as well. And it's that free and open so to the public. So impressive. Look at these pieces. Yeah. Incredible. So, so our, the final activity you have for us, some international flair, Brooklyn venue introducing New Yorkers to a French sport you can't find anywhere else. Yeah, this is pronounced patonk. It's a French game. It's sort of like a bocce style sport and it's gaining popularity in the U.S., of course, all starting here in New York City. So about two years ago, Caro Club, which is the nation's first patonk bar, opened outdoors in Industry City in Brooklyn. But now they're moving indoors, perfect uh, time with the weather becoming colder. You can reserve a court for $50 an hour. Don't worry, they'll give you a lesson if you've never patonked before. Um, and you can also get some drinks and have some food while you're there. They've got a full bar as well as a deli counter with some salads, waffles, and sandwiches. It sort of looks like bocce, but I guess with kind yeah. of a different twist. Exactly. Bocce with a French twist. I love it. Rosalind, thanks so much for being with us. Things to do editor at Time Out New York. And for more information about these events and to see Rosalind's full list, you can visit our website, cbsnewyork.com.